Welcome back. There is a local nonprofit celebrating a huge milestone in the 608 this morning. Josh Ryder here to tell us all about it. It's the story behind the Colonial Club in Sun Prairie. Josh, tell us all about it. As good morning, as far as nonprofits go, 50 years is quite an achievement. After long delays due to public health restrictions, staff and volunteers at the Colonial Club Senior Activity Center in Sun Prairie are finally celebrating the agency's 50th anniversary. Volunteers and staff pour through boxes of old photos, newsletters, annual reports, and other items to be put on display. Executive Director Bob Powers says there is a lot to be proud about in their community. With all the growing pains and financial challenges over the years and a pandemic on top of it, they're happy to still be there for Northeastern Dane County. Being one of the few nonprofit senior centers in the state of Wisconsin is what I think brings us the most unique flavor uh, to the table. We're not just a senior center that serves a meal and people come in and play bingo and that's the extent of it. We have a comprehensive uh, menu of social services uh, to offer older adults. Over the weekend, they held a grand reopening ribbon cutting ceremony on the Colonial Club grounds where Governor Evers, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi and Sun Prairie Mayor Paul Esser were all happy to be part of. The nonprofit ended up raising over $50,000 for their 50th anniversary. Ahead in our next half hour, we're going to hear from the mayor about the early days of the Colonial Club, how it all got started and why he hopes to see that support sticking around going forward, guys. Cool story. I know he said that they're more than a place to just go and play bingo but do they also play bingo there? Uh, they do, yes. They have a lot of things going on there. That's what's cool, I think, is, you know, if you actually drive up in the neighborhood where the Colonial Club is, there's a lot of senior housing that's right around it. Basically, this is a centralized location oh, cool. for these folks yeah. to be able to come together every day and get that social interaction that is really, really important uh, at that age especially. So over the last year and a half, some of them, you know, have not been able to come in as much. So they're hoping to be able to get those things going and, um, you know, continuing all of that because it is so important that um, our older adults are getting all that interaction with all their friends every day just like any of us right maybe a little euchre there you go i'm nah, sure there's man. a lot of euchre going on there <laughs> i it. should stop buying in-person <laughs> interactions how about that oh, face to face That's people it. actually talking and sharing stories and get to know each other instead I love of it. those screens i, I think know. that's Zoom i miss meetings. the days oh, right yes. beats facebook thanks josh Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him in the 608 at wictv.com.